FNAF games are way too easy if you don't get horrible luck. Almost every FNAF game can be beaten in under an hour if you know how to play the game, which is why today, we're going to make the games way harder than they need to be. You might be asking, Kabuto, what do you mean by FNAF with a twist? Isn't that just how you play the games on this channel? Well, no, because in this video, we're going to be playing FNAF 1 through 6, but with a twist even I don't know about until I play. You see, I have a wheel here, and I put 15 modifiers on scaling from not too bad, like playing the game backwards from nights 1 to 5, to hell on earth by playing the entire game blindfolded. Let's get into the rules, because this challenge might be a bit confusing at first. I must spin the wheel before I play a game. I must play with whatever rules the wheel says I do. I can't switch modifiers in the middle of a game. I must record with my mouse on screen, and after landing on a modifier, it must be removed from the wheel. Oh, and as a side note, if a game for whatever reason becomes impossible to beat because of the modifiers, I'll have to put all the modifiers back on the wheel and restart the entire challenge. Got all that? Good. Now let's get started. The challenge gets started with me playing FNAF 1. This game is pretty easy, so I spin the wheel and I'll show you what I got. I'm spinning the wheel. The first modifier is... Oh god, I have to play with max DPI. This is not gonna go well. Maximum DPI. If you're confused, this basically means mouse sensitivity. Some mice have buttons where when you press them, it changes your DPI. I must crank it all the way to the max for the entirety of FNAF 1. And so you guys know I'm not cheating, my cursor when playing will always be visible, just like the rule said I had to. This is really hard to explain from a commentary perspective, but just imagine trying to hit a button, but if you move your mouse slightly too much, you either miss the button, or just press something you didn't mean to. So many times I would accidentally press the doors instead of lights, miss the door button, and even accidentally open my cameras. Slowly but surely, I was getting through the nights. Night 1 is never an issue in any FNAF game. Night 2 wasn't very eventful, so I just talked with my friends for most of it. Night 3 introduces Freddy, which means all four are active, but if you stall in the dining area, this night is easy. On my Nuzlocke video, people were saying, Kabuto, you realize camera 4B is the best place to stall him, right? Or, Kabuto, why didn't you stall him in camera 4B? I can't believe I have to explain this again, but to you smooth brains who don't understand the reason, it's that when Bonnie or Chica leaves your door, they most likely will enter the dining area. Since Freddy is in the dining area, I can monitor him while making sure Chica and Bonnie aren't coming to my doors, which means less time on the cameras, which means less power wasted. Another small plus is that Pirate's Cove is right next to the dining area, meaning I can very quickly check Foxy and Freddy, which allows me to check Foxy's progress and stall him and Freddy at the same time. And again, to the people saying, Kabuto, you realize you don't need to watch Foxy, right? Yes, I know. People seriously think I don't know these things. Guys, you realize I've been watching other people play and Ben playing these games for years, right? You think I don't know the mechanics? Oh, that and the reason I check Foxy isn't to stall him, it's to make sure that he isn't going to kill me when I least expect it. <sighs> Sorry about that rant. I just hate when people comment the exact same things over and over and over again acting like I don't know how these games work. God, don't even get me started on the whole Bonnie can jump from the closet to your doors comments I saw. Trust me, people, I know Bonnie can do that. <coughs> Where was I again? Oh, right, night four. I actually died this night. While checking on the cameras, I checked my right door and then... Well... 36% at 3am. Shut up! Yeah! My prediction, kill him, okay, kill him, if, if kill him! Turn, if it turns 4am... Okay, I'm dead. Say bye bye. My prediction was right. My prediction was right. No, it was 35%. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Talk about the Bonnie teleportation special. Thankfully, I got through the night on my next try. It was a little close for comfort, but I did it. Night 5. Holy, this night was chaotic. All I'm going to say is Bonnie can't my door for a while. Low power. I'm screwed. But the craziest thing that's ever happened to me while playing this game happened on this night. Words cannot describe this luck. You need to see it for yourself. Watch like Oxy just like come out of nowhere. I checked on him. I checked on him before. Come on. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Oh no! Freddy, I swear to God, please. I'm. Oh, no, why are you here already? No. Please do your play your song. Just play out your long song. No hurry, right? Yeah, yeah, I like this. I love this. Keep it up. No, it's over. I died.
Hello? What? What went wrong? Mm. Freddy? Don't. Yes! 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 There's no way! There's no, no way! way. No yes! way. <laughs> I don't know what the chances of this happening are, but I'm sure someone watching this knows. If you know what the odds of this were, let me know in the comments. Fun fact, after I finished the game, I couldn't go back to my old sensitivity. I had to turn it up more, and I still deal with it to this day as I'm writing and making this video. Well, that just happened. I continued to FNAF 2, but there's one thing I want to mention. If you pay attention, you'll see the result of the wheel says 2. This isn't me cheating. This is because I spun the wheel again like an idiot before FNAF 1 instead of just removing the intended results. And before anyone says anything, yes, I have the raw footage. Because uh, if it's one modifier oh per God, game... I'm not to respin until I get the modifier. Hang on. I just got a message from Whoa. I can guarantee that was him. Actually, wait, no. What am I doing? I can just literally erase it. Yeah, I, I, I hear Steam message, and I can guarantee that's Whoa. Okay, max DPI. It's got 35 minutes. Wow, crazy, cool, amazing, spectacular. Now I'm not going to have half my comment section accusing me of re-rolling a challenge. Speaking of rolling, let's roll the wheel. No, that just doesn't sound right. Who cares? Just spin the stupid wheel. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we got. Oh boy, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this next Cow Wow Bower video. Must play the game backwards from night 5 to 1. Okay, play the entirety of FNAF 2 backwards? That's barely even a punishment. This challenge is gonna be so easy. If you are confused as to how I'm gonna play the entire game backwards, you can open run, type percent app data percent, and you'll see a bunch of folders. Enter MMF applications, and then we can find the FNAF 2 data file and change our night to play the game backwards. And uh, spoilers, we blaze through this entire game. Playing the game backwards just means I knock the harder stuff out early, and then we finish the easy stuff later. Let's get started. Night 5 is pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing, but because I have way more hours in this game than I should, I know how to play this game. Even still, this night is chaotic. Lots of withered attacks, thank god for no toy Bonnie. I had a couple of close calls where I wasn't sure if I was fast enough with the mask, but RNGs said, LET'S THE BOY LIVE! At the end of the night, I almost died to the puppet and the withereds, but I was saved by 6am. From here, there will be less and less to talk about since these nights aren't really that hard. All you need to know is, me mask, me wind up music box, me survive until 6am. But seriously, there isn't much to talk about when it's just the base game. I never really get close to dying or have anything that's super memorable that should go in the video. Night 3 had a couple of withered encounters, and shockingly, the toy animatronics just aren't showing up. It's mostly just the withereds, but yeah, this night is stupid easy because you have so much time to put the mask on, so I beat it no problem. Night 3 didn't really do anything. I shined the light down the hall, wound up the box, put the mask on every like two years, and sat there and did nothing. I wasn't kidding when I said these nights get really boring. There's really nothing to talk about. Night 1 is just... There. You don't do anything until like 2am, you get like one encounter at 4 or 5am, and then the night's over. Thankfully, I'm done with this game now and FNAF 2 has been beaten backwards. Almost half done already. Getting kinda scared this video won't even be long enough for mineral ads. I kinda wish I could get a really hard challenge that I could go heavily into detail on and make this video longer. Oh, sorry. Was I rambling? Let me just spin the wheel and... Alright guys, I'm spinning the wheel, I'm spinning the wheel. Show us, show us, oh, respin it and show us. No, I'm not respinning it. Grr! No, no. What happened? I have to play Five Nights at Freddy's Three without a mouse. What the hell? Would you look at that? We got a stupidly hard challenge that I can go heavily into detail about. It's almost like I knew this was gonna happen, and this is all already happening. I'm just commentating about it from the future. <clears throat> Anyways, FNAF 3 without a mouse. You're probably wondering, Kabuto, how is this even possible? How are you going to use the cameras, the reboot panel, or, or do literally anything? The answer is simple. My monitor has a touchscreen. It's probably best to got this modifier for this game specifically, because this game works surprisingly well with a touchscreen. So you know I'm not cheating, I disconnected my mouse, and you can see the areas where I'm tapping. Just look at these little white circles here. With that, let's get started. Night 1, nothing happens, so let's just go strategy. If you know how I play this game, then you already know the strategy. But if you don't know, I believe the best strategy is to hold him in camera 10, seal the vent connected to camera 10, and just don't let him move. During night 2, I realized there was going to be a big problem. Phantom BB. Phantom BB will spawn on cameras at random and try to jump scare you. The way you avoid him is by switching the cameras. The problem is, I don't have a mouse. 
This means if I'm slightly too slow, I'll get jump scared by Phantom BB. If I get jump scared, this will cause a ventilation error. With the ventilation error, Springtrap moves faster until I fix it, which can take a random amount of time. If I get unlucky, he could get to my office door, or move into a random vent where I can't stop him and then I die. Luckily, that didn't happen during night 2, but it could have. Night 3 is when I realized how difficult this would be without a mouse. I fell this night at just 2am. While fixing my audio, I heard Springtrap enter a vent. I last saw him in camera 10, but I was worried that he instead went to the camera 9 vent. Only problem is that even if I wanted to stop him, the reboot was taking way too long. If FNAF 3, the reboots are RNG based on whether they are quick or not, and I was unlucky enough to have it take too long. By the time I lowered the panel, Springtrap was at my door and he sent me to God. After getting a free respawn from God, I was able to clear the night on my next try. Night 4 can suck my balls. During my first attempt, I got hit with the Phantom Puppet. Phantom Puppet will appear on your screen and not let you do anything for 15 seconds, then he breaks your ventilation! Is it really shocking that like 20 seconds later I had a spring trap delivered to my office first day shipping? This second attempt made me so mad. I made it all the way to 4am just for spring trap to crawl in a vent. I heard the vent sound, checked camera 14, and since he wasn't there, I checked camera 11. I saw that before I saw what was even in the vent, and it was nothing. I was so confused until I checked camera 14 again. This time Springtrap was there. When I tried to seal the vent, I couldn't because my touchscreen wouldn't register my double taps until it was too late. My first question is, why was he not there even though the vent sound played and then he was there? My second question is, why did I do this to myself? Every attempt of this night was going wrong in one way or another. Springtrap climbing in vents and getting me while I'm repairing. Phantom Puppet just simply existing. A lot of things went wrong in this night. When I beat this night, even I was surprised. This was like attempt 4, and trust me, we got a lot to talk about from this night alone. At 2am, Springtrap was already at my window because I got jump scared by Phantom Puppet and Phantom Freddy at the exact same time. This already was not looking too good. Luckily, I was able to lure him to camera too. But because my happiness is a lie, my audio and cameras broke at the exact same time. I would have to do two reboots before Springtrap could get to my window and then pass it. Do you know the odds of that? I don't, but I assume they're pretty small. For some reason, Springtrap decided to go into camera 3. Can you see him? No? Look in the bottom right corner. I miss Springtrap, and well... We bit yonder, even. It's yeah, it's only 3am and I've been holding Springtrap just outside of my office, and he's once again back at the window. So I played audio in camera 2, praying to god this would work a second time, and it somehow did. By 4am, I managed to lure Springtrap to camera 5. Keep in mind, I've been trying my hardest to hold him back since 2am, and he's just now in camera 5, two hours later. That aside, my camera's broke and I need to fix them. If I wanted to, you know, see anything? But before I repaired them, I figured the smart play would be to seal the camera 5 vent, just to be safe. The last thing I want is Springtrap at my window for a third time this night. While fixing the cameras, I heard Springtrap enter a vent, so I definitely made the right call. After fixing the cameras, I lured him to camera 8. And while luring him to camera 9, I got jump scared by Phantom BB. One audio fix later, I checked the cameras and, shockingly enough, Springtrap went to camera 9 and just didn't move. I tried to lure him to camera 10, but the audio lure failed so I had to fix the audio yet again. After I fixed the audio again, I heard a vent noise. I checked camera 14 and I found him. I thank the RNG gods for sealing the vent instantly. By some miracle, it finally turned 6am and it was on to night 5. If you thought night 4 was bad, wait until you hear about night 5. My first attempt was going pretty good until once again Phantom Puppet ruined it by appearing in camera 8 when I couldn't even see him. Phantom Freddy must have seen what was going on and thought, eh, might as well, and then he jump scared me too, giving me every single error possible. Yeah, I didn't live much longer after that. Look, I'll cut to the chase. This took me like 20 minutes of getting screwed over by the Phantoms and Springtrap calling into random events. But my god, was that 6am chime music to my ears. Camera okay, you know what, look, hold on there, we'll hold on camera 8 from now. Yeah, you're good, you're good. good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I mean, there's no, there's no, like, there's no, there's no, yes there is, puppet. <laughs> See oh, yeah. Hold him in literally any other camera. Yes! Yo. Finally. That took an oh, hour. There we go. FNAF 3, but I can't use my mouse has been beaten. That alone is worth therapy, but trust me, it gets so much worse. FNAF 4 is up next, and I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like this game. 
If you see my tier list video, then you know why. Let's just spin the wheel and get this over with. I mean, this can't be that bad, right? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Inverted hands. For FNAF 4, I've used my right hand on my keyboard and my left hand on my mouse. To make it easier though, I just want my mouse and keyboard placement. This is going to suck because one, I'm playing FNAF 4 and that game is just bad. And two, my left hand is really awful. I'm someone who can't even write their name with their left hand. So realistically, how am I going to use a mouse precisely to survive for six minutes straight? I guess I should stop procrastinating and start playing. Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in the games considering nobody spawns until 2am. Even when the animatronics do spawn, you get maybe one encounter on this night, so it's stupid easy. Night 2 will be without any issues because it's just night 1, but with Fox even barely does anything. Night 3 is when I remembered why I hate this game so much. Here, I flashed Bonnie who was down the hall, then he closed the door to keep Foxy away, and for some reason Bonnie teleported to my door, and when I flashed to make sure Foxy was gone, I died. On my second try, I died again at 2am because the breathing sound didn't play. I've explained this before, but sometimes in FNAF 4, the breathing sound just doesn't play. I've had people try to explain by saying, Kabuto, you just missed it, or Kabuto, that's not how the game works. Okay, do I need to pull up this clip again where I boosted the audio to 200% and still couldn't hear any breathing? Cool, are we on the same page about why this game sucks? In an audio-based game, it's kind of an issue when the audio just doesn't work half the time when you suffer the consequences for it. So after way too many tries of getting lightheaded from not breathing enough to listen, I just barely was able to scrape by with Foxy trying to kill me. Night 4, 4 AM. It was really frustrating. Oh, did the game crash? Oh no, I'm bugged. I can't do anything. It's... Man, wait, quick wait, 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 confusion on, is on, Wait a minute. I can't... I can't die. Can I? Or can I? So I can't do anything. Yeah, my game's bugged. So, let's go by that logic, right? But then I realized, if I'd made it to 4am, all I'd need is 2 hours. If only there was a mechanic where you could just gain 2 hours. Fun with Plus Trap. If you win, you gain 2 hours. Even though I lost to Plus Trap, I can still play it again in the extras menu. After I beat Fun with Plus Trap, I was finally able to survive Night 4. Night 5. I hate this night with a passion because somehow, this night is broken! The footsteps are basically gone now. They're there, but they're so hard to hear that they might as well just not even be here. There's also a visual bug. Nightmare Fairy Bear can be at your door, but he just won't show up, meaning if the double backs that door. You also still have to put up with his fake laughs, so somehow, this night went from being stupid easy to just annoying. After way longer than I should have had to play, and one man I'm head joke later, Ah, he's so I, scary. I love how this went from a sound-based game to just whatever we want to say now because we know audio doesn't matter. Man, I'm head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that. Why does he really just say, man, I'm head, whenever he chuckles? I finally beat this stupid knight. Eight, seven, Jesus Christ, six. Oh my god. That scared me so bad. Oh my god. What? Okay, thank God. But that literally scared, scared Dude, me so bad. Did you see that? <laughs> scared me so bad. Also, shout out to that one time where Fredbear literally just didn't appear the entire night and then he just randomly killed me. Where is he? Why is he not showing up? Fredbear? Yeah, 40 seconds. Where is he? Fredbear! Fredbear! Come out, Fredbear! He's he, maybe he's, he's, on his, Where are you? he's on vacation. I'll take it. I don't Red like Bear. Hello? Is he even in this night? Did I just delete him on accident? That guy's so angry he got maybe deleted from the <laughs> What? 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 That noise wasn't out of fear, it was out of confusion. <laughs> I don't, Where did you come from? I don't understand. I don't understand. He just didn't show up the whole night. And then out of nowhere, bah! Well, after wanting to blow my brains out each time I accidentally turned on the flashlight instead of closing the door, I finally beat FNAF 4 with inverted hands. Finally. Sister location. We're almost done. Just gotta spin the wheel again, and... What do we get for oh, FNAF 5? Holy moly. What do I get for FNAF 5? Let's stream it, stream it.
Oh wait, I'm not streaming it. Oh, you, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> oh god. I love seeing color okay, spin. You know what? This isn't even that bad. This is honestly not that bad. Sister location, but I can only use my right hand. That's honestly not too bad. Unfortunately, I have no way to prove I played the entire game with my right hand, but it's honestly such a minor difference, I don't think it's too big of a deal, I can't prove it. Night 1 literally nothing happens, Night 2 isn't too hard, nothing happens until the power goes out and you literally win by just holding left click. Ballora Gallery is all the same, go when it's safe, stop when you hear Ballora's music. After reaching the break room, this minigame is relatively the same. The only difference is that I'm a bit slower because I need to swap hands from my keyboard to my mouse if I want to open the panel or use audio lures. Another fun fact I learned that almost got me killed is that the audio portion of this minigame is broken as well. Normally there's a sound cue that plays when Freddy moves, but for some reason, that sound no longer plays. I don't know if these games are getting broken by just simply being old, but they're breaking in a way that is making the game much harder than it should be. Luckily, I didn't die in the break room, so I was able to go home and watch this TV show that definitely should not be for kids. Then, it's on to Night 3. Night 3 was really easy. All you gotta do is sneak through Funtime Auditorium, repair Freddy, catch Bon Bon, and you're done. Piece of cake. Funtime Auditorium is really easy because you don't have to play it. You can just lift your middle finger, tap W, and keep doing that until you reach the end of the room. Repairing Freddy is also super easy. Just click a couple of buttons and then grab the disc. After you grab the disc, you need to catch Bon Bon. To catch Bon Bon, you need to bait him out of hiding and press the black button under his bow tie. To bait him out of hiding, you need to avoid trying to lay on him and let him go all the way up. Then you can press the button under his black bow tie. I was able to catch Bon Bon really quick and leave, go home, have a nice cup of coffee, except for one thing. Funtime Foxy. So one cheap jump scare that every YouTuber overreacts to later, we're on night 4. And I hate this night. This night is brutally difficult and it's not fun to play. When I played this game for my Nuzlocke, this was my number one run killer for this game. But at least in my run, the night was somewhat fair. Here, mini arenas could literally go invisible and the timing with the spring locks was impossible to survive. I would get so close, like 15 to 30 seconds away from winning and I'd get killed by the spring locks or die to a mini arena. Don't believe me? Look at the clips. It was the dumbest thing ever. Did, what? Did you see that? No. You didn't see a mini arena pop out of existence for a moment? <laughs> Oops. Sure did. Yeah, How do the mini arenas even You're get kidding. in? Yeah, it's over. <laughs> and then you grab them and then you throw Ooh. them and then you beat them and then what? And then boom. For one hand, it makes this actually so hard. Just like my wiener. Okay, pal, calm down. I get it. It's 10 p.m. for you. I'm playing erect mode, okay? Uh, okay. It's like 10.30. I can't really see the time that well from here. Because I'm using like a tiny phone. The Nokia is probably about this big. <laughs> I've come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker! Where's the mini arena? I thought there was one crawling up. <laughs> this day was making me so frustrated with how I kept losing the things out of my control. So I pulled out an old model I live by. If the game isn't going to play fair, why should you? I finally decided that if this game was going to cheat, it's only fair if I'm allowed to cheat as well. So I went to the files of the game and set my night to night 5. I don't care if you call this cheap, I literally couldn't beat night 4 because it was impossible. Night 5 doesn't really change anything. The only difficulty came from trying to hear baby tell me the numbers over my friends in the call. After an embarrassing amount of deaths here, I cleared the keypad area. Funtime Auditorium is very easy. Go when baby says so, and stop when she says to. After reaching the scooping room, I- Hey wait a minute, that's not baby, and I've definitely made this joke before, so let's just roll credits. Alright, that's five games down, just one more to go. FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. Let's just pray it's an easy challenge. Alright, let's see what we get for the last game, FNAF 6. Man, how long have you been recording? Like, in total? About five hours. Oh my god, no. Oh, <laughs> what? that is the best one. Yes. Max volume. Are you kidding me? You might be a bit confused, but this means I need to play Pizza Simulator at max volume, which is torture enough, but I also have to crank my PC volume to the max. 
If you've never turned your volume up to 100 on your PC like a sociopath, the only way to describe the experience is pain. My ears are already kind of sensitive to loud sounds, so even the slightest of ambiences were hurting my ears, and if I got jump scared, I'd probably just lose my hearing altogether. Luckily, I got this challenge on the only other sound-based FNAF game, so it was somewhat a net positive. I had only one strategy to preserve my hearing, beat the game as fast as possible. If I bought the upgrades, I could speed around the entire game and not let any animatronics in my building. The best way I figured out how to do this is to play the ball pit, get midnight motorists, and grind cash. Once I could, I would buy the office upgrades. But before I could afford it, I played the first night. Little did I know during this night, Mole Freddy actually got in the building somehow. I didn't figure this out until after I survived the night, which, yes, was a terrifying revelation. After Monday night, I grinded out a bit more cash. My plan was to buy the upgrades to speed the nights up. If I finish the game as fast as possible, I can most likely avoid needing hearing aids. All these nights go pretty much the same. Use audio lure, finish the task as fast as I can, and then log off before Mom Freddy can even do anything. See animatronics back into the alleyway because I am not about to get jump scared and wish I was deaf to begin with. After gunning it to the end of the game in like 35 minutes, I was finally on Saturday night. You wouldn't believe the relief I felt when I logged off for the last time and got the ending. I finished the game getting fired with a pathetic 9,302 Faz rating. Do I care that I got fired though? No, because it officially means I have completed every FNAF game but with a twist. If you want to give this challenge a try, put all these modifiers onto wheel, spin it, and play by what you have. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll see you next time when I go into the pit. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Click the end cards on screen for more entertaining content.